Hello, today we are going to learn how to draw a perfect Captain American shield. As you can see, it's quite a simple drawing formed by four concentric circles and a five pointed star in the center. We are going to fit the drawing onto an A4 or letter sized piece of paper located horizontally or in landscape. So the first step is to locate the center point of the drawing. And to do this, we are going to draw two auxiliary diagonal lines and where they intersect will be the center point O of the drawing. So now we are going to draw the four uh, concentric circles in the drawing. So the first step, setting the compass on point O and with radius 10 centimeters, we are going to draw the first and outer circle with a thicker line, as can be seen here. And now the subsequent radiuses of the next three circles are going to decrease by 1.5 centimeters each. So the next circle, circle set in the compass on O and with a radius 8.5 we draw another circle and now for our third circle which is 1.5 centimeters less with our compass set on O and radius 7 we draw our third circle and for our fourth and final circle with radius 5.5 we draw a, a thicker circle which will be our inner circle of the drawing. So the next step is to draw a five pointed star inscribed in this inner circle. To do this, we are going to draw a horizontal diameter and a perpendicular radius as can be seen here. And we will name our two new points P and Q. And now the next step, we are going to calculate the perpendicular bisector of the radius OP. To do this, with our compass set on point O and a radius slightly greater than half of the radius OP, we scribe an arc above and below the radius. And now, with the same radius and the compass centered on point P, we'll scribe another arc above and below, which intersects our previously drawn arc at two points. And now we will join these two points where it cuts the radius OP. This will be the midpoint M of the radius, as can be seen here. So now with our compass centered on M and radius MQ, we scribe an arc to the left until it cuts our horizontal diameter at a new point, which we will call R. This line segment QR will be the length L of one of the sides of the pentagon inscribed in the circle. We want to transport our side QR onto the inner circumference five times starting at point Q. So setting our compass to the radius O R, we scribe an arc to the left and to the right as can be seen here. And now Set our compass on the previously described arc and with the same radius, we mark our next vertices of the pentagon. And again, with the compass with the, to the same radius and set on the previously described arc, we draw our final vertices of the pentagon. And if we've been working with accuracy here, we can see that the last two vertices should match exactly, which they do. And now we're going to name these vertices, new vertices, A, B, C, D, and we already had Q. So the next step is to draw the five point of star joining points Q with B, B to D, D to A, A to C, and C to Q. So here we have our five point of star. And now we are going to highlight the outline of the star with a thicker line as can be seen here. So just the outer part of the star. I want to draw on a thicker line to emphasize.
Okay, so finally, the last step is to color in red the outer circle and the third circle and the inner circle in red color, as can be seen here, leaving the white in the center part. And finally, in blue, between the outline of the star and the inner circle. We're going to color in in blue, as can be seen here. So here you have a perfect Captain America shield ready to protect you. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please press like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until the next time, thank you and happy Christmas.